welcome back to uh, my channel and in today's video we're diving into how to deploy the AWS connector and perform workload scanning using Wiz. So Wiz is a powerful cloud security platform and it's really making waves inside the industry itself. <clears throat> And before we get started, uh, let's kind of talk about Wiz. Wiz is a leading cloud security platform that helps organizations rapidly identify and remove critical risks in their cloud infrastructure. It provides full visibility across your cloud stack, covering AWS, Azure, GCP, and more without the need for agents or really complex setups. With Wiz, right now you can detect vulnerabilities, misconfiguration, networking risks, exposed secrets, all in really one dashboard, one place. It's designed to integrate seamlessly with your existing workflows, making cloud security kind of streamlined and efficient. <clears throat> so what we'll cover today is we're gonna be setting up a vulnerable AWS environment for testing purposes. We'll deploy the Wiz AWS connector using CloudFormation templates or CloudFormation. We're going to perform workload scanning to uncover vulnerabilities and we'll analyze the findings to improve the security posture itself. <clears throat> and really, why, why is it important that we're doing this? Um, as organizations migrate to the cloud, security becomes a real critical concern misconfiguration, unnoticed vulnerabilities can lead to significant breaches. Tools like Wiz empower security teams and organizations to stay ahead by providing comprehensive visibility and actionable insight. So where you're, uh, whether really you're a cloud engineer, a security professional, or just keen to learn more about cloud security, this tutorial will provide you knowledge that you can. All right, so we're logged into our environment. So let's first create uh, our vulnerable web application. Uh, so pretty much we're gonna create a vulnerable web app. So let's create this stack. With AWS. Vulnerable app. <clears throat> I acknowledge, click on next and submit. So this should create our EC2 instance and we should also see an S3 bucket get created and have access to this EC2 instance, which is just a vulnerable web app. All right, let's see what uh, has gotten created as this is still going on. Uh, we can take a look at our S3 bucket. <clears throat> All right, so there we go. We got a public S3 bucket was created. We can click on the EC2 instance and we can see our EC2 instance is running. It's still initializing. So as this is building, what we'll do is now that environment's almost up, we're going to log into Wiz and set up our Wiz connector. And what we're going to do is we're going to use CloudFormation templates to grant Wiz read-only configuration and snapshot access. <clears throat> so to make this happen, there's three major steps. One is to add the Wiz connector create the Wiz roles in AWS and finish defining the Wiz, the connector in Wiz itself. So inside of Wiz, we're gonna to go to settings, deployments. We're gonna click on add. We're gonna click on AWS. Under the connector scope, we're gonna select an account. Installation type, we're gonna go standard. We'll use, well, we can use Terraform actually. 
<clears throat> we'll use CloudFormation templates and we'll click on launch CloudFormation template here. This will open a quick, a quick create stack of all the information we need. Want to ensure we have everything in here enabled. That looks good. I acknowledge AWS CloudFormation might create an IAM role and custom name. And let's click on create. So what we're gonna do is after this CloudFormation template is complete, what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy the Wiz access role ARN from the outputs. And we're gonna paste it inside our Wiz connector right here. So let's just go to outputs, our role ARN ID is right here. We're gonna copy this. We're gonna paste it inside our whiz role. we we'll just give it a connector name and we're going to click on finish. And once we click on finish, we see that our Wiz is initializing. So then what's happening is it's starting to scan our AWS environment and start to run any assessments that are required. Wiz begins scanning the environment using its agentless read-only API approach. And with that, during the cloud scan, the connectors find VMs, functions, container, whatever's in the environment, and then it will start to trigger a workload scan for further analysis of what's in here. So if we dive into this connector, <clears throat> right, we can see we have our subscription to medium low health issues that we can dive into. And we have some um, permission issues to get access to AWS Audit Manager, um, which is fine. But we can, in this device, we see that we have one health issue, right? We have only one really virtual machine deployed. And we can click on this, and this opens up the Explorer section or our security graph. <clears throat> And so I'll show you how that works. It's pretty neat. You could actually just click on explore and type anything inside the security graph and be able to find it, which is pretty neat. You can ask AI, of course, to be able to locate vulnerabilities, um, applications, endpoints, exposures, etc. cetera. Uh, or you can just click on here and this will automatically launch this security graph and find the virtual machine for that subscription that is connected to my connector. <clears throat> we can click on graph. Right now we just have one real VM here that has public access to it. Um, let's go back to the table. We can dive into this a bit more. Uh, we actually see that there's internet exposure right away into this virtual uh, VM. And once we click on this VM right away, we have a very nice or clean representation, I find it super clean, super neat, um, that identifies <clears throat> what are the things I should be looking at for this. Um, we have two high configuration bindings. We have some critical vulnerabilities. We can see that this has admin privileges. We have an unpatched OS. We have running end of life technologies, and we validated that there's public network exposure. So we can dive into our vulnerabilities where we see remediations already outlined in here. We see our um, critical and high fixable library vulnerabilities. We see our packages. Um, and then, of 
Of course, we have a list of all the vulnerabilities, OS patch requirements, et cetera, in here. We can dive into the configuration of this EC2 VM on how it's configured. And right away, we can see that there certain things were passed, certain things are unresolved, that this was launched with a key pair, right? Um, it has public access. It's publicly available. Um, Tenancy, it's not uh, dedicated. Uh, there's no detailed monitoring on this device. Um, <clears throat> it's not using IMDS v2. So we have a lot of findings right away about this environment um, that we can action, of course. We also see that there's user authentication configuration. So we have SSH access with no password authentication and root permit root login is available already on this device. We can dive into the network. Um, once again, we see the public IP address. We see that port 22 and 80 are open to the internet. We can see that we did an application endpoint, a little scan where we did a browser screenshot. So the dynamic scanner was able to go ahead and grab that web app and or grab that screenshot of this vulnerable or this VM instance on port 80. We see all our network information. Of course, we see the network security groups um, that supplied VNets, um, virtual networks, everything, what VPC, all the information we need about this device, we can see it very quickly. We can dive more in and, and take a look at the identities this identity, what can be accessed by all these certain accounts. <clears throat> what are the secrets? Um, what are the application? And what kind of data is on this VM, be it files, code, XML, uh, plain text, documents. We really have this all outlined for us in a very nice and simple dashboard. And that's what I really enjoy about how Wiz has changed or enriched our visibility into the cloud is being able to provide quick access to data about our assets. And then we can definitely action on those assets and also help us prioritize what should we look at first when we you know get an incident when we get an issue when we have a vulnerability um, so with that i hope you enjoyed uh, this quick little tutorial on how you can utilize wiz or how you can set up a wiz connector with aws um, please don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel um, for more tutorials and really tech insights. And if you have any questions or topics or do you